So the COVID-19 disease is caused by a virus that's been named SARS-CoV-2. And the SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. And that might sound familiar to you because back in 2000, there was another SARS pandemic caused by another virus that's a close cousin to this virus. And what people need to understand is that this is the third pandemic of this decade, of this century, that's been caused by a coronavirus. Mm. And you may think, well, in 2000, we didn't have this sort of worldwide phenomenon. And in 2012, we didn't have it. And there's the, here's the difference. These viruses all belong to a large family. There are 39 members of the family, and they mostly are indigenous to bats, which means that you would normally get exposed to these viruses unless you came into contact with a bat. Well, with SARS and mirrors of 2012, there were intermediate hosts. For SARS, it was these small hand animals that look like cats. I think they're called privets. And then for MERS, it was camels. So unless you came into contact with those cats or the camels, you could not get those other viruses. In other words, the vectors or the means of transmission for those first two were these animals. The difference now is that we are the vectors for SARS-CoV-2 because this virus has adopted to be spread from one human to another. And when viruses adopt for human to human spread, and they can be spread through the air, that's when pandemics, pandemics occur, just like 1918 with influenza. So the fact that human beings are the vectors and the virus can be transmitted through air, that is the main reason why this has become a global epidemic, uh, unlike any we've seen in 102 years, and that's why, because we are the vector.